Okay, I found a solution a while ago. I, I haven't done them in a while because I'm making a new cell. It won't have no gaskets or holes or nuts or bolts. It'd be a little easier to make. I bought some equipment here to do all this. And um, once I get done, I'll show you that cell. I have another system coming up too. It's not mine, but it uses Merrick's gas. And um, I might become a distributor for it. They guarantee a 50% increase on fuel mileage or your money back. So I'll show you that someday. Um, but right now, how I did my inlays was I bought this tool from MSC. It's a carbide cutter. And you go down and uh, inlay your plate a little bit on both sides. And once you get your inlays cut in there, I also made this template that holds it nice and st steady, the plate, so it can't move around in there when you're doing this. So uh, once you get your inlays done, then I go get the poly tubing. It fits nice and snug into the hole, and then you melt it. it comes up to a blob like that. And after you, after it cools down, it turns like a milky white. It turns clear when you're heating it, and you know you're ready to smash it together. So I put it in something like this. I just get two plates, put them together, you should have gloves on, push really hard, and then you'll get that blob of plastic. And then, when you're done, you belt it off in the belt sander. See, I've been a long time ago, try, everybody's trying all kinds of stuff, paint stuff around the hole, or you can't really use bushings because you're only running like a 60 thousandths or closer gap, so it has to be flush. So then what I do is um, belt off that excess, and it comes out like this. It's inlaid flush, and you can punch any size hole you want. So you can try different water flows or gas outputs or whatever you want to do. And it comes out pretty nice, nice and flush there, chemical resistant. So I just wanted to show you how I was putting the inlays in, and my fuel cells, I have test. They, they came out pretty good. It's um, the last one was, um, I'm almost making a liter of gas at 10.2 amps. It was 119 watts. Uh, it's a little over 7 MMW, running it cold. And um, I think it's due to the inlays, so there's less current jumping through all the holes. Like I said, you can make any size hole you want with a punch. I usually use a hard piece of plastic like this to punch the hole, you know, once you set it down there. So that's about it. Just wanted to show you how I do the inlays. I don't think too many people has ever done that. i never seen it done. Uh, the bit is t about $200. And... Um, it works pretty good. Just can't go too far. A little bit on each side, and then melt your plastic in there. So, have a great day, and hope it was interesting to you.